Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Hi. Excellent. Very good, guys. Just give me one second. I just need to do something here. Hold on. All right, guys, I'm going to introduce myself because I know you guys don't know me. All right, my name is Jessica. All right, Jessica Cerrito, so I'm going to be with you now. All right, just give me a second. I just need to change this. There you go. All right. Hold on. All right, so. Can you see me okay? Yes? Can you guys see me okay? Yes, yes. Okay. very good. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay? All right, very good, guys. It's actually not a basic one, but I don't have the new background, but that's fine. All right, guys, very good. As I said, my name is Jessica Cerritos, and I'm going to be your teacher, all right, from today until we finish the course, okay? Yes, is that okay? Yeah? All right, very good. Thank you. Uh, let's see. So I see I have Oscar and Johnny and Jorge Argueta, Carlos Eduardo, Rosa, Lisette, all right, Adela, Oscar, Victoria, Jessica, hi Jessica, Vicky, Dinora, and Gustavo. All right, guys, very good. All right, so um, who wants to be in Johnny, Omar? Hi, Johnny. Hi, teacher. <laughs> All right, Johnny, can you tell me something about yourself? Because I don't know you. Okay. Mm -hmm. my, uh, my name is Johnny Torres. Mm -hmm. I am a teacher um, computer science, or oh, science computer. No, computer science. Okay. In a college. In a in college or in a school, Johnny? College. Okay. Like university. Oh, no. In a colegio? Yes. In a, in a private school? Yes. All right, very good. Yes, okay, thank you. Continue, uh-huh. Um, I don't know. I live in Santa Ana. Okay. Um, I job, my job, I work in Santa Ana too. Ah, oh, very nice. So you work in Santa Ana and you teach in Santa Ana and you live in Santa Ana. Yes. All right. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. Thank you, Johnny. Very nice meeting you. Okay. Maria Melina. Hi, Maria Melina. Hi, teacher. How are you? Nice, nice to see you again. again. <laughs> nice to see very you good. again, teacher. Very nice. uh, I'm fine. Thank you. Very good. All right. Oh, I see Oscar Armando. I remember Oscar Armando. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Fine. Excellent. Uh, surprise. I know it. Eh? A nice surprise or a not so nice surprise? Yes. Um, <laughs> All right. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Hi, Julio Merino. Hi, Julio. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Nice. Excellent. Can you, um, Julio, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, please? You me? Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Can you tell me information about yourself, like your name, where do you live, where do you work? Oh, my name is Julio Cesar Merino Gonzalez. Okay. I live in Santa Tecla. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. What else? Um, I work. I work in in distribuidora. Okay. Um, I am person sell. All right. Very good. Yes. Uh huh. What else? Um. In my all my I I am all uh, fighting fighting see fighting see all okay oh, all right yes I I all <laughs> I very uh -huh. old 
You're not old. What are you talking about? You're very young. <laughs> all, all this, all this is, is um, ocean? Mm -hmm. um, uh, this uh, bitch, uh, viejo del mar y todavía no, no da pescado por aquí. Of course. Very good, Julio. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you, Julio. Very good. All right. Someone else that wants to introduce him or herself that I don't know. Oscar mm -hmm. Edenilson, do you want to tell me something about yourself? Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. Uh, okay, uh, my name is Oscar Edilson Correa Spice. Uh -huh. uh, I live in Soyapango. Okay. Uh, I, I work in technical support. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. What else? Yes. Uh, my. Uh, uh, I work in uh, Crio Inversiones. Okay. Ah, all right. All right. Very nice. Uh, Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Very good. Nice to meet you, Oscar. Uh, okay. Nice to meet you. Very Thank good. You. Thank you. All right, Jorge, Alfredo, what about you? Do you um, could you introduce yourself for me? Hi, teacher. I am. Um, my name is Jorge Argueta. Okay. Um, I work in Chalatenango. Mm. Um, I live in Metapan. Okay. All right, very good. All right, you live in you you live in Metapan and you work in Chalatenango. That's that's right, Jorge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you travel every every week. Yeah. All right. Okay. Very good. All right. Interesting. Jessica. Jessica, I like your name. <laughs> My name is Jessica. Jessica. All right, Jessica Beatriz, tell me about you, please. <laughs> Um, my name is Jessica Beatriz Fuentes. Okay. I live in Chalatenango. Mm -hmm. I work in San Salvador. Okay. And I am ex executive senior. Okay, very nice. And right. I work in a bank. All right, very nice. Thank you. All right, very nice. Interesting. And one more. What about Adela Trinidad? Can you tell me a little bit about yourself, Adela? My name is Adela Trinidad González. Uh, my nickname is Trini or oh, sí, Trini. Okay, That's very good. Mm -hmm. I live in Sonsonate. Perfect. I work in in Sonsonate. Igual. I am okay. a teacher. Oh, what do you teach, Trini? Uh, science, uh, sociales. Social, Social studies. studies? Uh -huh. Excellent. All right. Bueno, All right. Very good. Okay. okay. Very good, Trini. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. Let's see. Okay. Uh, nice to meet you too. Very good. Okay, guys. Para los que entraron después, well, my name is Jessica Cerritos, and I'm going to be your teacher from today until we finish this course. Okay. So I'm going to take care of you this week and next week. Okay. Eh, la dinámica es igual que con la maestra anterior, la plataforma es la plataforma, la tercera unidad la vamos a completar esta semana y la siguiente semana completamos la cuatro y el examen final. All right? Entonces, a partir de ahora, tenemos que empezar a trabajar on homework 11. All right? Yes? Okay, guys? Yeah, perfect. Very good. And the same thing happens, okay? You need to be on time. Eh, por lo general, yo me conecto exactamente a las 8 porque tengo, termino una clase a las 8, entonces me desconecto y entro a esta, all right? Eh, igual que con la maestra, nos quedamos, eh, alguien se queda conmigo un ratito después, 10 minutitos, and that's it, all right? Eh, y lo demás, pues, pretty much is the same thing, guys. You participate, I speak, you help me, and this is just a normal English fun class, okay? Very good. Do you have, um, let me see, I'm going to take attendance right now, guys. Okay, so please tell me if you're present. Adela Trinidad González, uh, consuegra. 
Present. Alejandro Antonio Ramírez Guzmán. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Gustavo Alberto Montepeque Olivares. Ok, Johnny Omar Torres uh, Mata. Present. Very good. Jonathan Emanuel, permítame, dame un segundito. Jonathan Emanuel Franco Vázquez. All right. Oh, you're there, thank you. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present, teacher. Very good. José Daniel Argueta Núñez. All right. Then we have José David Rivera Aquino. <clears throat> Oh, thank you. Very good. Uh, Jose Santiago Escobar Abrego. Okay. Then we have Juan Jose Conrado. Present. Julio Cesar Merino Gonzalez. Present. Thank you. Maria Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Present, teacher. Misael Rivera Present. Aquino. Thank you, Maria Emelina. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present, teacher. Thank you, Oscar Armando. Excuse me? Misael Rivera? Present teacher. Thank you, thank you, all right. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar Edenilson Correa Spice. Present. Rosa Lisette de Paz Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Thank you. Victoria Maria Vasquez Juarez. Present. Excellent. And let's see, we have two more. Jessica Beatriz Fuentes de Villanueva. Present. Thank you. And we have Oscar Enrique Ramirez Menendez. Present. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Very good, guys. All right. So we're going to continue with your unit three. Okay. So I want you to, if you have your book, can you please open your book right now? I'm just gonna show you something and then we'll start with the topic itself. Just give me one second so I can bring it up. All right, so here, I'm gonna show you this. Let me just open it here. Okay. All right, so unit three, we have this here. It says, I will be able to. We're gonna talk about customer service, all right? Um, we're gonna see some new words. Some words, maybe you know them and some others, maybe you don't know them, all right? So that's why we're here to learn a little bit more. Oscar Enrique, can you please read where it says, I will be able to? Hi. Hi, can you read where it says I will be able to, please? Yes, Oscar, thank you. Okay. Process and understand customers' opinions about a product or service they receive. All right, very good. Thank you. All right, let's see. Maria Melina, can you read where it says number one? Let's start. Uh, Ask a partner why the, the customer call. Do customer call? Mm -hmm. How can you help them try a list of ideas? Very good, thank you. All right, so here we have ask a partner, why do customers call, all right? Why do they need help? We're gonna talk about that in one second, all right? Now here we say, number two says, listen to the teacher read the words and repeat, right? What do customers and companies representatives do? Okay, now let me see here. Oscar, Armando, can you read from number one to number four, please? Uh, Oscar Edilson, can you read from number five to number eight? And Vicky Dinora, can you read from number nine to number 12? All right, Oscar, you may begin reading, please. Uh, the number one. Pick number on one, the... two, three, and four. Ah, yeah. Uh, uh, pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. 
under, understand, mm -hmm. explain, yes, complain. Complain, very good, thank you. All right, um, number five, six, seven, and eight, Oscar Edilson. Okay, uh, help, uh -huh. request information, yes, get price, prices, provide, uh -huh. get prices. Mm -hmm. Provide one's information. Excellent, thank you. And Vicky Dinora, can you read from number nine to number 12? Okay, assist, buy, call, you receive. Excellent, thank you, Vicky, very nice. Okay, guys, so we have number one, listen, listen, and if you have any questions, you may ask me. Number one, pick up the phone. Number two, understand. Number three, explain. Number four, complain. Number five, help. Number six, request information. Number seven, get prices. Number eight, provide one's information. Number nine, assist. Number 10, buy. 11, call. And 12, receive. Okay? Now, do you understand all these words? Please check, and if you don't understand one word, you may ask me. Everything, Teacher. yes, Johnny. Uh, in the number two, mm -hmm. I read the word understand, mm -hmm. but you say understand, I, I don't know. What is that correct? Understand? understand yes, yeah, understand. understand. It's understand. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? All right. What about complain? What is the meaning of complain? Reclamo. Yeah, very good. So I complain, right? When you are not satisfied about something, you complain. Very good. Um, do you understand the word uh, request? What is request information? I don't want you to tell me in Spanish. I want you to give me like a, a meaning or a synonym or a sentence. What is request information? Any ideas of what request is? In Spanish? Mm, try not to. <laughs> request. Uh huh. It's similar to what? When, when I, I don't know. I can't either. Teacher. Teacher, yes, yes, tell me. Information requerida. For, for example, is uh, use the, the credit card mm -hmm. and uh, operator uh, question uh, uh, in me. And I need you information, you, you request information. Very good, Julio, very nice. Is ask, very good. So request is similar to ask. You request information, you ask for information. Very good, Julio. Very nice, all right? So re you request for information and you call and you say, oh, can you help me please? I have a concern, I have a question. So it's similar to ask, okay? All right, anything else? Any other word, guys, that you may not know or you want to clarify the meaning? We're fine. Teacher? Yes. Um, provide once. Yes. What is the meaning? Ah, all right. Provide once information is when um, they provide like information to someone, okay? When you ask, when you make a phone call, Maria Melina, it's not like you say, can you um, provide once information? You say, can you provide me? some information all right very good or just say uh provide information mm -hmm. okay thank you very good thank you anything else 
from any other? No? All right, very good. Okay. Peter. Yes, Johnny. Uh, is it similar uh, if I say uh, apply for information? Apply. Or is it different? Apply for. Um, it would be a little bit similar, but usually you don't say I'm applying for information. You apply for uh, an open space, for a vacancy, for uh, a job, that's when you apply. But provide is when you give information. All right, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, all right, very good. This is what I want you to do. Here we have customer and company's representative, okay? What are, from this list, from number one to number 12, what are the things that customers do and what are the things that companies' representatives do? All right, can you guys think? Which ones do, which activities do customers and which activities do companies' representatives? Can you think about it? I'm gonna give you two minutes. If you have your book, you can start writing. If you don't have your book, you can do it on your notebook, all right? And then I'm gonna be asking you. Do you understand what you're going to do? Yes, yes. excellent, thank you, thank you. All right, are we ready? What do we have for customer? Anybody that can help me with customer? Complain. Ah, very good. Okay, complain, very good. What else? Call. Um, call, yes, uh-huh. Buy. Yes, buy. Request information. Request information, very good. Yes, for sure, what else? Uh, provide, provide one's information. Receive, yes. Provide one's information, a customer or a company's representative? Company's representative. Yeah, I think, I mean, someone that gives you information is not the customer, is the person that works for the company, I think. Yes. Okay, very good, thank you. What else? Provide one's information. Yeah, I provide one's information, I believe is company's representative, not customer. Ah, All right, okay. yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yes, All right. Yes. I understand, I understand. All right, very good. Okay. Help, help the customer. For which one? Uh, for customer, customer. Customer represent, company's representative, or for customer? No, for customer, but the client's uh, pick up the phone. I uh, the uh, how how many solicitar? Like the client, uh, like request. Request uh, is like client, ask or uh huh. Uh -huh. The client uh, call the customer service. Right. Uh, okay. For for help. To help. All right. To Very help. good. Okay. Very nice. Okay, what about activity? Thank you, Carlos. What about a company's representative? What else besides what Carlos just mentioned? Anything else? Pro provide uh, information? Yeah, provide one's information for company's representative. Very good. What else? Sure. Yes. Um, 
the number one, uh, pick up the phone, mm -hmm. it can be used in the suitcase. For it is in both cases. Representative. Yes, I think so for both cases. Yes, very nice. Okay, anything else? Uh, assistant. <laughs> Assist, yes, for, for company's representative. Very good. What else? Explain, help. Yes, explain and help. Very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the complain. Also, um, complain for the company's representative or complain for customer? customer. But, but the, but I, I, I believe the, the complaint, mm -hmm. the provides, the provide one's information, but the assistant and the, of the client. All right, with, yeah. With, mm -hmm. with, with he or she. Okay. Receive, receive, uh, receive, uh, receive mm -hmm. uh, the, the call. All right, okay. So I guess the, co the customer may have the complaint and then the com company's representative gives you know assist and helps and 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 provide provide one's information all right okay anything else anything else now what this is what i want you to do right now okay i want you to think about a situation a real situation that you had okay that you had to call customer service or a company's representative. Think about it, all right? Has it ever happened to you maybe for a service or a product? All right, that maybe you don't have internet access or you buy something, you bought something that wasn't working properly and you had to make a call to the company's representative. Has it ever happened to you? Have you ever had like a complaint or you have, um, needed some help or that has never happened to you? Anybody? No, you have never complained about anything. No service, no good, everything was perfect. Or you had a situation where you had to call customer service or never. Uh, in my case, I take the the call, the customer service, the assistance for internet. Ah, so Carlos Eduardo, you are a company's representative. Uh, in that's that's your job. Yes, I ah. my I work in the Claro Salvador ah. in the customer service, the technical okay. support. Ah, very good, Carlos. Okay. And the customers, Carlos, why do they call you? Excuse me? Why do customers call you? They don't have internet at home or they need help with the, the, the cable TV or why do they call you? The, the uh, same things is the internet uh, cable TV. Okay. Uh, in the the new technology of the El Salvador, hmm? the, I take the assistance. Oh, the assistance, all right. Okay. The, yes. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. That's interesting. Very good. Anybody else? But you as the customer. I am called, I am called, complain. Yeah. I am called the represent, representative. Uh huh. Uh, um, uh, I have complied. Okay. All right. My, About my, what? My, 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 my compliance is, is the product is very low quality. Ah, oh, very nice. Okay. Okay, all right. Interesting, Julio. Thank you. All right. What about Victoria Maria? Have you ever complained about something? Have you ever called customer service, maybe for a service or for a product, Victoria? Or no? Okay, very good. Nice. Very good. What about Gustavo, or Alejandro, Jonathan? You guys uh, remember that you need to have 
eh, lo, la mayoría de lo posible tendríamos que tener eh, nuestras camaritas encendidas, please, all right? A ver, anybody else? Thank you. Eh, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, Johnny. Uh, for example, um, I called uh -huh. to company representative for uh, I need refund a product. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Because the product is damaged. Mm. All right, and did they help you, Johnny? Did they give you a new one? Yes. Ah, okay. That was very nice. All right, what about the rest of you guys? Never complained? Juan Jose or Rosa, Jose David, any complaint on, like to customer services? Yes. I'm Emelina. I'm, I, I often call to ICE, um, the energy electric company. Uh -huh. Because um, always when, when start to rain, mm -hmm. um, the, the light go, go out. Oh, okay. All right. Um, they 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 ask if uh, uh, we we hear any sound or explosion something uh -huh, like okay, that all right. but 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 it's not nothing like that is it, the problem is continue every 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 time it rains exactly oh my goodness all right okay okay uh, i'm lucky tonight because it was raining and we, we have oh my goodness okay i hear you all right very good maria melina thank you but they haven't solved the problem maria melina not yet okay all right yeah. interesting very good okay anybody else no more situations oscar armando never you have never complained about any product or any service my my kids are my partners and mm -hmm. um, they, they call um different um uh -huh. activities and okay. the boy and the boy and uh, material office or kids or <laughs> um different activities all right okay all right very good thank you oscar enrique what about you have you ever complained about a service or a product oscar enrique Or not really, never? No. Okay, all right, that's yeah. fine, thank you. Okay, that's okay. All right, let's continue then here. Okay, so here we have, for example, it says choose the department where you work in and a friend. Explain to a partner what activities you do there. All right, what do customers call for and what was the last call you had about? I want you, we're gonna work not exactly on this, all right? But I want you to think, you're going to go to your groups right now, and I want you to think and make a list, all right? Of possible reasons why people call customer services, all right? In different companies. For example, I know Maria Melina works in a drugstore, right? Yes, okay, so maybe, Maria Melina's um, reason why customers complain is different than Arclaro, for example. It's very different. Donde Maria Melina le pueden reclamar, por decir algo, eh, que la fecha está vencida del medicamento, ¿verdad, Maria Melina? Obviamente no es lo mismo cuando llaman a Claro y reportan problema con la internet. All right, so what I want you to do, como todos, la mayoría me parece que trabajan en diferentes empresas, 
Por ejemplo, eh, María Melina, vuelvo y repito, trabaja en una, en una farmacia y el compañero eh, trabaja en Claro, ¿verdad? Entonces, los, los complaints, las quejas o la ayuda que la gente necesita en Claro es muy diferente a la drugstore, ¿all right? Entonces, together, si yo trabajo con Vicky o con Jonathan, primero contémonos, si en caso no saben, the company that we work for. Entonces, te va a decir, ah, por ejemplo, I work at... Um, I work at Simon, ¿ok? Y el otro compañero, la compañera puede decir, I work at a, a bank, ¿all right? Muy diferentes empresas. ¿Cuáles son las quejas o la ayuda que por lo general necesitan nuestros clientes? Make a list, ¿all right? Yes? ¿Ok, guys? Yes. All right, thank you. I'm going to make groups right now. How many sentences do you... Uh, try to come up with four or five per work. Four for your company and four for the other's company. All right? And then try to share the answers. Okay? The idea is for you to speak and to share your answers with each other. All right? Just give me a second. I'm going to open up here the groups. All right, guys. Y yo los voy a sacar en un ratito. Okay? La idea es que for you to practice with your peers. All right, let's go. Alejandro and Gustavo. Hi, Ale. Hi, Gustavo. Hi, teacher. Hi. Gustavo, are you able to go to your group? Fíjate, teacher, que por el momento yo estoy llegando a mi casa ahorita. Quizás en unos cinco minutos ya No se preocupe. Vaya, no, no se preocupe. Yo ubico al otro compañero con alguien. No se preocupe. Gracias. Okay, pero aquí estoy. Gracias. Bueno, perfecto. Gracias, Gustavo.
Hi, Johnny. Did you Hi, teacher. Hello? Hi, teacher. Yes, I can share. You can share. Well, that's it strange. It says el anfitrión inhabilitó la función compartir las pantallas. I haven't even touched that. <laughs> can you check now, Johnny? Okay. Can you check? Can you share now? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, teacher. All right. Okay. Thanks. Okay. They call for. They call to us for a warranty. They call to us for a warranty. Hi, Rosa. Hi, Julio. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Are you finished or not yet? Oh, it's almost practical. All right, very good. Rosa, where do you work? Uh, I work in veterinary secretary. Oh. oh, all right. Okay, very nice. And what can be some complaints or why do people call you sometimes? I I call a, a call as about a vaccine. Ah, a vaccine. Yes, a vaccine, Rosa. Ah, okay. A, a grooming. A uh -huh. grooming. <laughs> um, okay, and, very and nice. Call, and clipping, yes, clipping the paws. Yes. All right. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Very good. And Julio, what kind of complaints? ¿Qué tipo de, de quejas o de qué tipo de ayuda piden en su trabajo si llama a la gente? Oh, uh, my clients um, call me um, over, 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 over again um, for <laughs> uh, say, say me, say me, my clients. I need, I need you, I need you product. Ah. I need you, I need you oil, mm -hmm. oil and cookies. Okay. And cookie um, 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 and salt. And which one? Salt. Soap. 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 Uh, no, soap. Uh, soap. Sopa. Sopa. Uh -huh. Soap jabon. is jabon. Jabon, soap. Uh -huh. Soap. Soap. Uh -huh. Soap. Yes. Soap. 
Okay, la sopa okay. es la que tomamos. <laughs> All right, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, ah, all right. Um, um, medicine. Okay. Um, very, very proud. Okay, yes, I see that. Ah, interesting. Entonces, si mm. se fijan, los clientes que llaman o necesitan el servicio de Rosa, de la, de la, de la oficina o de la empresa, es bien diferente a lo de Julio, ¿verdad? Yeah, very yeah. nice. Yeah, very different. Very nice. That's Excellent. That's very good, guys. All right, we're going to go back. Vamos a regresar ahorita, okay? Thank yeah. you. All right, guys, very good. Okay, let's see, Jessica. Jessica, Beatriz, who were you working with? Okay, I am Oscar. He... Oscar was... Edilson. Um, no. No. Oscar. Oh, no, no, no. oh, okay, 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 Oscar, Enrique. Okay, very good, uh-huh, tell me. He's work in City Hall. Oh, okay. And and the uh, answer the first question is mm -hmm. to repair the roof. Oh, okay, very good. And two, to replace the church. Okay, very good. Okay, nice. All right. Now that Jessica, that was for Oscar. Yes. yes? All right. Very good. And Oscar, what about Jessica's customers? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, what do the, well, uh, she's a customer. Um, um, uh -huh. You request information about the service. Okay. The pure question. The question is uh, information about credit service. All right. Ah, okay. Yeah, because Jessica works in a bank, right, Jessica? Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Nice. Only that, Oscar? Very good. Thank you, Oscar. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo. Yes. Thank you, Oscar. Carlos Eduardo, who did you work with? I, I work with Maria Melina. Oh, you work with Maria Melina. <laughs> really, that was a coincidence. Mire que lo puse de ejemplo, pero no era mi intención que se llenan ahí. All right, a ver. Maria okay. Melina, what are the, Carlos, what are the situations that people call Maria Melina for? Uh, Maria Melina, explain me uh, for the case. Mm -hmm. Uh, is the change for the of pardon change of the pharmaceutical products okay uh -huh. uh, make the product warranty value okay interesting all right very good very nice what about maria menina can you tell us about carlos eduardo um Teacher, with Eduardo, we go, we make a um, short conversation. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. About the the situations and complaints. What uh, he receiving the um, companies he works mm -hmm. at okay. Claro El Salvador. Okay. And he told me um um. We have uh, more more problems in mm -hmm. winter. Oh uh, yeah, have, uh, <laughs> I believe you, Carlos. <laughs> yeah, uh, he told me they receive a lot of calls that people don't have a signal, mm -hmm. and and they have uh, uh, problems with the internet and mm -hmm. and. 
um, what's more, let's see. Um, cable TV. Ah, cable TV too. Cable TV. Yeah, All they right. have a, they have a, a names for any problems, but uh, it is a, a specific name in that company. <laughs> All right, yes. And they have a, um, names, but he told me they give solution um mm -hmm. the customer um three days okay after after three days oh, okay all right because it is um glad um calls they have all right okay very good thank you maria Melina. let me see thank someone you. else i want i want two more people to uh, volunteer to tell me about the customers complaints or about like any issues that these people call you. Any volunteers? What about Jonathan and Manuel? Who did you work with Jonathan? My classmate, the uh, Juan Jose. Okay. Uh, or, ah, okay. He worked in a bed. Oh, okay. In in his uh, well, uh, the client called for to ask uh, about the vaccine. The vaccine, the vaccine for the right. for the for the pets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, call for book and a book an appointment uh, uh -huh. with the doctor. And call for call, call for ask uh, for his pet. Okay, all right, very good, Jonathan. Thank you, Juan Jose. What about Jonathan's um job? What kind of calls do they receive? Okay, uh, he works a liquor distribution company. Okay. Uh, the customer call to ask the price of the product. Excellent, very good. And customer call to complain about the products. Um, so All right, that's okay, very nice, thank you. All right, perfect. What about, I don't know, maybe Jose David or Alejandro, Gustavo or Misael, uh -huh, or anybody that wants to share. Yes, David. Okay, thank you, David. Tell me, who did you work her, with, David? Her her name is Victoria. Okay. She works she she works as a teacher. Ah. And clients request information about exams and uh -huh. activities. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Very good, Victoria. Very nice. And <laughs> homework and checking and many things. <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you, David. And Victoria, what about David? Where does he work and what kind of complaints or what kind of calls does he receive? Um, estábamos tres de David, no recuerdo dónde trabajas, pero estaba Jorge también. Okay. Jorge, Jorge work in only vision. Eh, a él, to navigation and information. Uh -huh. Y José no escribí dónde trabaja, pero dice, okay. quiero ver, proper gauge and correct measurement. Okay, all right, that's okay, Victoria, very good, very nice, thank you. All right, let's see. What about the last one? Oscar Edilson, who did you work with, Oscar? Uh, with Trinidad. Oh, with Trini. All right, tell me about her, please. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, Trinidad uh, works in a school. Uh -huh. She is a teacher. Yes. She tells me um, she has many calls. For example, <laughs> uh, Call for uh, uh, homework. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, call for the uh, for the platform. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, call for the request information. Uh -huh. And call by. 
permission for assistance. Ah, okay. Ah, for not joining classes. Okay. Very good, Oscar. Very yes. nice. Thank you, Oscar. That was very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Trini, what about, is Trini here? Trini, Trini? Oh, yeah, there she is. <laughs> uh -huh. Trini, tell me about Oscar, please. Uh-huh. No recuerdo el nombre de la empresa porque es algo complicado. ¿Me lo puedes repetir, por favor, Oscar? <laughs> ok, eh, Crio Inversiones. Ok. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. You are in Crio Inversiones. Inversiones. Eh, Cracker One Bottle. Baltasting Tamales. Oh. Order of Crushers with Bread. Ok. Beans. Ah. All right, nice, very good. Thank you. Interesting. You see, everybody, we are from different companies, all right, or different um, schools or universities, all right, or vet shops, all right, the bank, many different companies. And in every company, we receive phone calls and they are different. The teachers, all the teachers, Trini is a teacher, Victoria is a teacher, creo que me falta, ah, Mr. Johnny is a teacher, right? Yeah, very good. So, and I'm a teacher. So, for example, at university, I teach at Ucan at Evangelica, English, and I always get, like, students from the licenciatura profesorado asking about the platform, about the exams, about the assignments, all right? So, my customers are the students all right so they have sometimes they request for information about the platform or the homework or the tests different than rosa or different than carlos eduardo because they work in different companies my phone calls that i receive are very different for uh from for like from jessica's or from rosa's because we work in different places, yes? Okay? Y de repente todos nos volvemos like companies representatives, right? Yes? No es que trabajemos en un call center necesariamente, pero cuando los alumnos, por ejemplo, todos que somos docentes, nos llaman, ¿verdad? De repente nos escriben. O a María Melina, si, do you have a Tylenol? <laughs> or something, right? All right, so yes. it's very different from very, like, different companies. Very good. Do you have any questions or do you have any comments? No, you're okay? All right, perfect, very good. Let's see here. Voy a pasar la segunda asistencia de la noche. All right, just give me one second here. All right, let me see. We have Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Alejandro Antonio Ramírez. Alejandro Antonio Ramírez. All right, Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Gustavo Alberto Montepeque Olivares. Present teacher. Thank you. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Emanuel Franco Vázquez. Present. Okay, Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Daniel Argueta Núñez. All right, very good. Um, Jose David Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Santiago Escobar Abrego. All right, Juan Jose Conrado. All right. Julio Cesar Merino Gonzalez. Present. Thank you. Maria Melina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Thank you, Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar Edilson Correa Spice. Thank you, Rosa Lisette de Paz Hernández. Present. Thank you, Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present. Victoria Maria Vázquez Juárez. Present. Jessica Beatriz Fuentes de Villanueva. Present. And Oscar Enrique Ramirez Menendez. Present. Thank you. All right, guys, very good. So we're going to continue here. Let me just get it back open. Okay. Now, 
this is this was page 29 so we're finished now we're going to study how to use past of b and simple past affirmative el pasado simple lo vieron el módulo pasado cierto yes you guys saw the simple past last module yes yes teacher excellent very good all right, now, como ya lo saben, o ya vieron la estructura y las pronunciaciones, all right, no es que nos vayamos a detener mucho, sin embargo, si necesitamos ayuda, lo vamos a ir viendo, all right? So here we have past of B and simple past. Lo hemos dividido, okay? Past of B and simple past. We are going to study right now past of B. A ver, uh, Trini, can you please read this sentence, Trini, la que acabo de subrayar? Can you please read it? It was a great experience. Thank you. All right. Um, let me see here. What about Jonathan? Jonathan, can you read the second the second sentence, please? Okay. The agent was very helpful. Very good. Thank you. Jose David Rivera Aquino, can you read number three? You were on your page. Page, very good, yes, thank you. And let me see, Julio, can you please read the last one? We were excited about service. We were excited about, about service, very good, okay. All right, let me see here. What about um, Alejandro, can you read this one? I. All right, maybe Alejandro is not around. What about Misael? Can you read that one, Misael? I have me a good information. Okay, very good, thank you. Vicky Dinora, can you read the second sentence, please? He called yesterday at night. Very nice, thank you. All right, uh, Juan Jose, can you read number three? The program working well. Very nice. And Carlos Eduardo Melgar, can you please read the last one? Say about that product last week. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, guys. So here, this is the past of B, que es lo que vamos a ver primero. And then we're going to talk about simple past. Okay? Now, Si se fija, hay diferencia entre una y la otra, por eso lo dividimos o lo separamos, because here no usamos, donde dice past of be, no usamos ningún verbo de acción. All right? Más bien usamos el verbo be, que expresa estado o condición. All right? And simple past, que también es simple, el past of be, obviamente, es simple past, pero del verbo be. And simple past, we have this one, que son todos los verbos que no son el verbo to be, que nos denotan una acción. Por ejemplo, gave, called, worked, worked. Okay? So this is the simple past of the action verbs. And this is the simple past of the verb be. Okay? All right, ¿qué sabemos o qué recordamos del pasado del verbo be? Si se recuerdan algo del módulo pasado, se recuerdan algo de lo que han visto siempre, or anything. Por ejemplo, en film, en I am. Huh? I am interested product. Okay. You are, you are, she uh -huh. is. Uh -huh. Solo que, yes, very good, Julio. Solo que that one, Julio, is simple present, ¿verdad? Cuando decimos are, am, is, is simple present. Lo pasamos uh -huh. al simple past y nos queda. A ver, ¿quién nos ayuda? But the, in this case, the first person. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you, we, they mm -hmm. use the word. Okay. In this, the third, the third, the third person, person singular. Third, mm -hmm. third person is she, he, it. Mm -hmm. 
use the use the was. Ah, all right, Carlos. But with I, you don't say I wear, you say I was also. Okay. All right, very good, Carlos. Very nice. So for I, he, she, it, we're going to use was. And yes. For, yes. for you, we, mm -hmm. they, you're going to use were. All right. Repeat, please. Repeat, please. Yes, ahorita lo vemos, Julio. Ahorita lo ponemos acá. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm going to show you this one. Uh, give me one second, please. Is this. Hold on, Julio. Give me a second. I have many things open right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here. I'm just going to make it wider and bigger. All right, so can you see my screen? Yes, we can. All right, the yes. to be, the simple past, was, were, or wasn't, weren't, affirmative or negative, okay? Now, we have affirmative form for I, he, she, it, we're going to use was. For you, we, they, we're going to use? Were. Were, very good. So, for I, you say, I was your teacher. Uh, Maria Melina was your teacher like, I don't know, four months ago, all right, or longer. I don't even remember anymore. He was my student. She was, I don't know, she was my favorite actress. It was hot yesterday, all right, so we use was. For you, we, day, we say you were, um, you were my student. All right, we were in the same class before and they were together, okay? So for I, he, she, it, we're going to use was. was. You, we, they, we're going to use were, okay? Entonces, si se fija del presente, que son tres, cuando conjugamos el verbo be, nos resultan tres, am, um, is, are. Pero de esos tres, in simple past, se nos reduce a dos, was, were. ¿Ok? Yes. Guys? Ok. Ok. Questions. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? No. Ok. Very good. All right. Thank you. All right. For negative form, we use was plus not, wasn't. I wasn't, he wasn't, she wasn't, it wasn't, or you weren't, we weren't, they weren't. Okay? Okay. Okay, very nice. Sure. Yes, tell me. In this case, but the difference mm -hmm. is probably the use the pass of the, uh -huh. the auxiliar, the use the auxiliar but the simple past uh -huh. don't use the, the was were. Um, I'm not sure. C can you tell me again, Carlos, please? Uh, in this case, uh -huh. when I take the use the the past uh -huh. of B, yes, I take the use. Mm -hmm. Was where? Yes. Is depend the subject. That's right. Okay, but the simple past mm -hmm. not is necessary. Mm -hmm. Use the the auxiliar was or were. No, you can't. Only, only uh -huh. use the verb in the past. Yes. For, uh -huh. for, for the referent in this case. Right. Yes. Okay. For, um, and then, Carlos, you're going to use the simple past verbs only in affirmative sentence. And okay. when it's negative, you're going to use didn't. All okay. right. Okay. Very good. Thank Excellent, you. Carlos. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? Questions? All right, acuérdese que no hay problema si eh, no está seguro cómo usamos el was o el wasn't o el where y el weren't. You can ask me, me pueden preguntar, pueden, ya vamos a hacer ejemplos igual. 
I don't know if you have any questions. No questions? Okay, very good. Now we have, in, yes. And we can use um, the verb to be in past tense uh, together with the, any other verb. Uh, no. Like uh, I, I was called yesterday. Oh, Maybe. yeah, but then that is not simple past anymore, Maria Melina. Ah, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. All right. That is actually passive voice, Maria. You use it and it's not simple past, it's passive voice. And then you use the past participle of the verb. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good, Maria. Very nice. Okay. Thank you. All right. Voy a, bueno, voy a ver, es, vamos a ver esto ahorita, interrogative, y luego pregunto. A ver, interrogative form, igual que en todas las formas que preguntamos en inglés, vamos a anteponer, en este caso, el pasado del verbo be. Was I, was he, was she, was it. Were you, were we, were they. All right? So that's how you make questions. Was he your brother? Ah, yes, he was. Was she a nice friend? Yes, she was a nice friend. Was it hot yesterday? No, it wasn't. It was cool. All right, it was fresh last night. Okay. Were you happy yesterday? Okay. Were you tired? Were they in, um, I don't know, were they in class? Okay, so we use where and was y lo anteponemos al resto de la oración para hacerlo pregunta. All right, igual va a depender si es I, he, she, it. We use was or if we're talking about you, we, they, we're going to use were. Okay, yes. All right, okay. thank you. Voy a dejar de compartir aquí un segundo. All right, very good. Entonces, when, para qué momentos... Voy a usar el pasado del verbo to be para expresar qué. Um, we need to express um, something we have. Uh, we need to express something happened in the past. Um, yesterday or last week. Mm -hmm. Last month. Sí, all right. Very good. Pero entonces... What is the difference between the past of the verb be and the past of the action verbs? What is the difference? When do I have to use the past of the verb be to express what? A ver, David, ayúdeme ahí. ¿En qué momentos? ¿Para qué circunstancias? ¿Para qué tipo de oraciones? ¿Qué quiero expresar cuando ocupo el pasado del verbo be? Was it were? Emotion. Emotions, okay, Julio, very nice. A ver, David, otra. No, David? I don't know, teacher. Okay, that's okay, no se preocupe. A ver, what about Alejandro, Gustavo, Misael? Jonathan, uh -huh. ideas? When do we use the past of be, was, or were? Experience, teacher. Excuse me, Jonathan. Uh, experience. An experience. Oh, okay. Perfect. Very good. Thank you. Anything else? ¿Qué más se nos ocurre? ¿En qué otro momento puedo usar el pasado del verbo to be? Oscar Edilson, ayúdeme. Una acción. Una. Eh... Uh -huh. Ok. A ver, ¿alguien más? Victoria, María. Tinta currículo. Perdón, Oscar Edilson se, se le está cortando un poquito, creo que es la Inter. Me dijo Johnny, tell me. Tinta currículum, 
studies, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, uh, first grade, second grade, mm -hmm. uh, the college. All right. When, when I studied uh -huh. in the university. Okay. Uh huh. Yes, I don't know. Uh, the word, I don't know. Studies? No. Mm. The studios? Yeah, I don't know. studies. Uh huh. Yeah, could yes, be. It. All right. Yes, in this case. Okay, very good, Johnny. Thank you. All right. What about Vicky? What about the girls? Uh huh. Jessica, Vicky, Victoria, Rosa, Trini, uh -huh. any ideas? Ok, that's ok, no se preocupe. Oscar iba a decir algo, Oscar Armando. I remember. ¿Mm? Para the, the speaking, I remember. Uh, para hablar de recuerdos. Ajá, uh -huh, you remember, yes? Uh -huh. Solo eso. Ok, no se preocupe. A ver, ok. El verbo to be, all right, no lo ocupamos para acciones, lo ocupamos para condiciones o estados. Ok, si yo le digo, eh, yo estoy feliz, no es una acción, es una, un estado, un estado de emoción. I am happy, all right? Si yo le digo, yo um, bebo, yo tomo algo, usted dice, I drink. Ahí es, una, es un verbo de acción. Hay un movimiento. All right? Entonces, yo ocupo el verbo drink, all right? Que no es el verbo to be. El verbo to be no me denota acción. Me denota estado o condición. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, ya, de, ya dijimos, I am happy ahora, pero ayer también estuve feliz. Entonces voy a decir, I was happy. I was happy. Excellent, I was happy. ¿Ya? Yeah? Eh, entonces, quiere decir que el verbo to be lo vamos a ocupar para condiciones. Por ejemplo, usted dice, um, yo era soltera hace 10 años, 15 años, hace un año. All right. Pero mi condición cambió. Now I'm married. Ah, usted dice, I was single. Ahí no hay ninguna acción. Era un estado, una condición. Cuando hacemos descripciones, usted dice, ¿te acordás de aquella persona? Era bien chelita. Y hoy se hizo bien morena, ¿verdad? Por tanto, sol. Entonces, she was or he was dark skin. All right? Or light skin. O era bien alto. Yo me acuerdo... Era bien alto, ¿verdad? Cuando uno está chiquito ve a la gente bien alta o bien alto. Entonces usted dice, oh, he was very tall. Yo ya se hizo chiquito. All right. Was, he was very tall. She was very tall. Cuando usamos... Por ejemplo, yes, yes, Carlos. Por ejemplo, is the... I was fit. Yes, you were fit. Uh -huh. And then what happened? <laughs> All right. Yes, then you okay. ate too much in the pandemic. All right, a lot of food. Yes. And the actually is very <laughs> strong. Ah, very nice. All right, very good. Ajá, uh -huh. entonces es cuando expresamos condiciones, estados, cuando describimos, usamos adjetivos. Ella era bonita, okay. él era bonito, él era gordo y gordito, ella era gordita, como usted quiera. Descripciones del lugar. Este lugar era bien grande, dice usted. Cuando yo estaba chiquita yo lo veía grande. All right. Fue, era grande, ya no lo veo tan grande. All right. Entonces, cuando describimos, usamos el verbo to be. En presente, en, en presente y en pasado. All right. Es lo mismo. No expresamos acciones. Ok. Si usted, a ver, vamos a ver aquí. Uh, Vicky, Dinora, si usted, usted hizo el módulo 3 en inglés corporativo. Sí. Ok. Entonces, a ver, hágame un favor, dígame, yo, usted va a decir yo estuve, ¿verdad? Yo estuve en el nivel 3. ¿Cómo me va a decir eso, Vicky? Vicky, su micrófono. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ay. Ay. 
I was uh, in the nivel level say? level level three. Excellent, very good. I was in level three. All right. A ver, yes. um, Jorge Alfredo, dígame, yo, usted, verdad? Yo no fui su estudiante porque usted no fue estudiante mío en el nivel 3 ajá Jorge um, I don't know ¿Mm? uh, you student you student ¿Mm? in nivel 3 Ok, very good. Ahora, vamos a usar I was not. All right, no el don't, no el do, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a usar exacto el pasado del verbo to be, porque es yo no fui, no de ir, sino que de haber sido su estudiante. I was not your student. Very good, Jorge. Thank you. A ver, Rosa. Um, espero que no sea así, pero usted diga, me diga algo así como... El perrito estuvo enfermo. Sick. Ajá, Rosa. The, the dog was sick. Excellent, Rosa. Very good. The dog was sick. Very nice. Yes. All right. A ver, a uh, Juan José. Yes, teacher. Tell me something like, ayer fue un bonito día. Perdón. Ayer fue un bonito día. Eh, yesterday, eh, very good. ¿Y el verbo? ¿El verbo fue? Mm, yesterday, I, uh -huh. yesterday was was a very good. Okay, yesterday was a very good day. All right, yesterday was very nice. Yesterday was day was very good. All right. Um, a ver, Oscar, thank you, Juan Jose. Uh, Oscar Edilson. El libro yes. estaba interesante. Uh, the book uh, was interesting. Interesting, very good. Yes, interesting. It was interesting. Thank you, Oscar. Very good. Okay. okay, thank you. En todas esas oraciones que hemos dicho ahorita, ninguna expresa una acción. All right. No dijimos corrí, no dijimos eh, dormí, no dijimos trabajé, no dijimos todo lo que implica una acción física. All right. Dijimos it was a nice day. I was in level three. I was sent your student. All right. So we use the past of the verb be to express emotions, conditions, estates, feelings, descriptions. Okay. But not actions. We don't ex express actions when we use the past of the verb be. Okay, do you guys understand? Les quedo un poquito más claro, yes? Yeah, all right, very good, yes, but sure. let's see here. Do you have any questions? No questions? All right, very good. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Teacher, the, in this moment, huh? uh, the, the use the, the pair in the past, Mm -hmm. Use the verb in the present. Yes. For which one? For the verb to be. Yes, pass the of be. Uh -huh. The verb to be. Yes. Use the the present. El verbo, verdad? Uh -huh. El lo es en español. El verbo se utiliza en el presente, pero en el caso del pasado simple, sí. Se utiliza eh, el verbo. Sí. Ahí sí en pasado, ¿verdad? Sí, en afirmativo. Uh -huh. Ajá, ok. Uh -huh. All right. Gracias, el, 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 Igual, el, bueno, el pasado del verbo to be es el was o oh, was o oh, oh, weren't. O oh, were, perdón. Was, were o oh, wasn't, weren't. Ok. Y lo que decimos es, es, es 
El café estaba caliente. The coffee was hot. Está en pasado porque ya me lo tomé y hoy ya se enfrió. All right, the coffee was hot. Usted dice, me tomé el café. I drank a cup of coffee or I had a cup of coffee. All right. Ok. Entonces, el, Thanks, el, el to be igual tiene presente, pasado, futuro, ¿verdad? Entonces, si el, el café ya se enfrió o estaba caliente, decimos, the coffee was hot. It's not hot anymore. Si yo tengo el café todavía, por decir algo, lo que estuviese tomando, yo dijera, it is, the coffee is, en este momento, is hot. Pero ya me lo tomé, ya no hay nada. Entonces digo, the coffee was hot. Estaba caliente. All right. Entonces, igual, tanto con el verbo be, como con los verbos de acción, cuando es pasado en afirmativo, usamos los verbos en pasado. Por eso es importante aprendérnoslos, ¿verdad? En el caso del verbo be, el, pas el verbo es was or were, dependiendo del sujeto. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. Let's see, guys. I want you to do the following right now. Vámonos acá. Háganme un favor. Vamos a tomar un par de fotos acá o capturas de imagen como usted guste. All right. Please take a picture of this. Son tres fotos. Tómenle a esta. Ready? Me avisa para mover. Richard. Yes. Richard, you know send and grow the WhatsApp. Um, can someone do it? Can someone do it? Alguien que ha tomado la foto la puede poner en el grupo, mandar al grupo, please. Thank you, Julio. All right. Okay, this is picture number two. And this is picture number three. Thank you. Yep, that's the picture. Yes. Puede pasar al número dos, por favor. Claro que sí. Esta fue la primera. Esta es la primera. This is number two. Ready. Excellent. And this is the last picture. Igual si, si no es mucha molestia, la mandan al grupo para que todos la puedan tener ahí. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Number Exercise number one says complete the sentences using was or were. La van leyendo. Trabajamos en grupo, ¿verdad? En el sentido de que le, le, yo leo una y el compañero lee la otra. So number one, number two, number three, number four. Y vamos poniendo was or were dependiendo de qué sujeto estoy hablando. Y quiero que se vayan fijando que en ninguna de ellas hay otro verbo. ¿Verdad? El, el verbo to be lo usamos solito. Was o where, pero sin ningún verbo de acción. Acá vamos a ir, dependiendo del contexto, vamos a usar was or wasn't, where or weren't. ¿Ok? ¿Ok, guys? ¿Yes? Okay. Igual que acá, yes. que es la continuación. Ok. Entonces, we go y seguimos trabajando en los mismos grupos que estábamos. Okay. Let's go to your groups, please. Jorge, ¿con quién estaba, Jorge? Um, no me recuerdo el nombre de esta chica. Um, um, ahorita le digo. Trini, no. 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 Um, alguien tiene el rato que dice bienvenido. Pero no me recuerdo quién era. ¿Con Rosa? ¿María Melina? No, con Rosa creo. Ya les digo. Y estaba Julio, César y Rosa. No, no, no estaba con Julio, estaba con otro muchacho. ¿Misael y Vicky? No, con Vicky no. <ríe> ¿Oscar y Jessica? ¿O José no, Jessica, David no. y Victoria María? Son las únicas chicas. 
no te tomé captura, no recuerdo. No bueno, no importa, ella. Jorge, lo voy a mandar a otro grupo, oye, no hay problema. Ok, gracias. Thank you. Car. I was in Carbera last spring and this year I was. Teacher, se pueden usar eh, lo mismo en la primera oración. Was. Um, I was in Can Canberra last spring and this year I was in Rome. Yeah, you can have two affirmative sentences. Yes, well, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is Trini with you? Yeah. 
Yeah. Ah, hi, Trini. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, the were, second. Mm -hmm. we were at school. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Oscar. Did you finish? No. 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 Okay. Yes. Exercise. Yes. Exercise uh, two. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. That's a good, 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 good. Thank you. Yeah. I was in Canberra last spring. And this Hi, Victoria, Jorge, and David. ¿Cómo vamos? Hi, teacher. Hi. ¿Cómo vamos? Good? Yes. Excellent. Very good. Good. All right. Good. Sigan trabajando. No se preocupen. Thank you, teacher. Thank okay. you. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.
Ajá, sí, sí va. ¿Yes? Sí, yes. Ok. Mi number five. Jessica and Kimberly. Not for school yesterday. Where? Late. Jessica and Kimberly were late for school yesterday. In fact, But they... Llegó, llegó tarde. Ajá. Uh -huh. A la escuela ayer. Ajá. Uh -huh. In fact. In fact quiere decir de hecho. De hecho, ella siempre... Ella llegan, ¿cómo, cómo se llegaba? Llegaban. Jessica and Kimberly was late. late. No, no, oh. was no, be, not, was not, because it's day. That's right, Vicky, very good. No es no was, was, Misael, porque es Jessica y Kimberly, is where. Porque son ah, ellas. Segunda persona. Exacto. Very Entonces, good, Vicky. Ella llega, thank you, teacher. Ella llega tarde a la escuela ayer. Ella llegaron tarde, ajá. Ajá, llegaron. Where? Where? Ajá. Y en la otra sería Weren't. Vicky, pero dice, de hecho, ellas siempre... De hecho. Ellas siempre, ¿qué? Siempre... Llegaban tarde, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, where también. Sí, Vicky, muy bien. Uh -huh. Ok. Very nice. Ah, pues, en la number five, Misa, en las dos nos quedan where. Jessica and Kimberly were late for school yesterday. In fact, they were always. Uh -huh. Ajá. Así. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number six. Uh, we were. We were a student in 1990. 90. 90. Now we. No somos. No. no. We. Now. Uh -huh. Teacher. No. We, we we were, entonces en la primera ¿Cómo? quedaría we were we were student in 1990. Now we regresan al presente porque dice now. Ahora nosotros somos. Excellent, very good. Mm. Uh -huh. Ahora nosotros somos teachers. Y ahí, ¿cómo ponemos somos? Porque el present sería are, Vicky. Are. Uh -huh. mm, o sea que no precisamente. Um, uh -huh. are. Como arriba dice, was, uh -huh. were, or wasn't, no. or weren't. Uh, weren't. Sí, exacto. Uh -huh. Solo que ahí, en esa oración precisa, eh, como dice now, tendríamos que regresar al presente, porque si le ponemos was, weren't, en el uh -huh. caso de were, no tendría sentido, ¿verdad? Porque como dice sí. now. Uh -huh. Ah, pues qué bueno que estaba aquí para que nos ayudara. <ríe> qué <ríe> <bien>. okay. <ríe> ok. Number six quedaría, we were a student in 1990, now we are teachers. Excellent, yes. Okay. Otra sería, he. He. In 
in hurry because there a lot of traffic. Was he was in no. a hurry. What meaning hurry, teacher? Así. Fast, fast, fast. Rápido, rápido, Ajá, rápido. Estaba en prisa, tenía prisa y era el... <risa> ah, ok. Ajá. He was. Yes. He, yes, yes, yes. He was. He was in a hurry because, because there. Eh, porque había un gran tráfico. tráfico. Ajá, <laughs> entonces ahí también is was. Yes. Very good, Vicky. Um, very good, Misael. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Traffic. Number eight. Tenía prisa porque había mucho tráfico. Exacto. Yes. Yes, yes. Misael. Number eight, Misael. Last, Last night. You. Where? Mm -hmm. Hungry because, because your girlfriend, su novia. <laughs> Porque no sería la mía, yo no. Ay, yo te misa él. Sorry, dear. <laughs> Sorry. Bye. Wedding. Porque yes. su novia no estaba en casa. Ah, pero ¿cuántas no, novias para... tienes, Vicky? Jur. Ah. ¿Cuántas tiene, Misael? <risa> ah, ni una, estoy soltero. <risa> <risa> bueno. Bueno. Dice, la noche pasada tú estabas triste. porque Tus. No, no dice no. tus. Tú, no. Jur. Jur. Jur, dice ahí, Vicky. Sin a ese. Uh, si your girlfriend uh -huh. because no your girlfriend because your, uh, because your girlfriend estaba en casa estaba o no estaba no estaba porque uh -huh. si estaba triste era porque no estaba exacto uh -huh. your girlfriend wasn't uh -huh. wasn't wasn't Ajá. Porque es he, ¿verdad? Es porque es novia, una novia. Ajá, he, he. Uh -huh. Porque estamos hablando de ella. Exacto. Amante, Exacto. Ajá. Ok. Was, wasn't. Wasn't home. All right. Vamos a, okay. vamos a regresar porque son, de hecho, ya las 10. All right. Ay, hoy no sentí el tiempo. <laughs> very good. Ahorita nos vamos. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Vicky. Very good, Misael. Good job. Good night. Bye. All right, guys. Did you did you finish? Were you able to finish everything? Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 No, teacher. yes. Yeah. All right. Super. Uh, All right. Solo dos nos faltaron. La very nice, días. Oscar. Very good. Excelente. Very nice. So tomorrow, when we start class, nos va a servir de repaso y revisando esto. Ok. Si en caso no logró terminar y le faltaron unas dos o tres, finish it. All right. Pero necesito que avance con la plataforma en la tarea 11. Tomo la última asistencia de la noche. All right. Y ahora le toca a Juan José Conrado quedarse 10 minutitos, Juan José. Oye. All right. teacher, ya, ya, me, ya me quedé la vez pasada con ya la, se quedó. la teacher. No iban en yes. orden de lista. Lo que pasa es que se trazaron dos, dos clases, entonces ahí me quedé yo. Ah, ok. Al siguiente. All right. Ok. Bueno, hoy va a ser voluntario y mañana, mañana doy el orden de quién se queda. All right. <ríe> a ver, tomo la última asistencia. María Melina, stay with me for a little bit. Ok. All right, thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Let's see. Um, Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Okay. Thank you. Alejandro Antonio Ramírez Guzmán. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Gustavo Alberto Montepeque Olivares. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Emanuel Franco Vázquez. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Daniel Argueta Núñez. José David Rivera Aquino. Present. José Santiago Escobar Abrego. Juan José Corrado. Present teacher. Julio César Merino González. Present. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Edilson Corea Spice. Rosa Lisette de Paz. Thank you. Rosa de Lisette de Paz Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Jessica Beatriz Fuentes de Villanueva. Present. And Oscar Enrique Ramirez Ramirez. Present. Thank you. All right, guys, have a very good night. Thank you for being in class with me today. It was nice to meet you. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Teacher. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Yes. Thank you, Bye teacher. Now. Have You're a nice night. night. You too, Vicky. Bye. Hi, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye, David. Bye, Oscar. Bye, Jonathan. Aha, Señorita María Melina. So nice to see you again. <laughs> nice to see you again, teacher. It's very, it's very, very it's nice. It's a good pleasure for me, you, with us again, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> I like uh, the other teacher, and I don't know what happened with her. But it's a pleasure. See you Thank again. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, very nice. <laughs> How are you all? I'm this fine. Fine, teacher. fine. Yes, I'm fine teaching all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yes. Yeah. You know we're what? Here. Um, I have I had a la. Uh, let's see. I had a hard time, teacher. Mm -hmm. Oh really? What happened? Yes, I have um two I had a lot of, a little nervous. No, I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> um, um I have two nephews. Mm -hmm. And they have uh, years, uh, years. Okay. And they get sick now, teacher. Oh, really? Yes. Um, they had a lot of problems with um, um, I don't know how to say um, pneumonia. Uh, pneumonia. Mm hmm. Yes, um, one of them uh, get better, but the other uh, is sick. The other little boy is sick. Uh, today we going with the doctor. Okay. And, and, and they took a uh, radiographia, como mm -hmm. digo radiographia. An X-ray. Yes. X-ray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and X-ray, mm -hmm. X-ray. Yes. And they they did um, therapy. Okay. And now is um stable. Yeah, he's a steady. He's a stable. He's a stable, but um we have um. Preocupados, teacher. You are worried. Worried, yes. Mm -hmm. But um, we hope tomorrow they get better. 
All right. How old are they, Maria Melina? One year, teacher. One year. Oh, he's a baby. Yeah. yeah. There are two babies. Um, I have two sisters, and they both have a one baby. Okay. And the last week, get sick one of them. And uh, this last uh, Sunday, mm -hmm. get, get sick the other one. The other baby. Yeah. And one is... a. Uh, uh, better but the other one today um we was worried with him yes yeah mm. but we hope tomorrow yes maria melina yeah that's the problem but he is in the house he is in the house now okay the the doctor say he 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 can take medicine in home in home, but if he get a bad, we need to go to the hospital. Right. Yeah, but now it's good. I hope tomorrow he get better. Of course, yes, of course, Maria Melina. Mm -hmm. That's the problem now, and. You know, teacher, this situation, um, um, is, is very, very bad. In I Berlin, know. in Berlin, um, I think, I think he, the 50% of the, the people have problems with the health. Right. Mm -hmm. in, in the, and is it, uh, is, it, is it COVID? Um, I don't think so because uh, when when they they take the X X ray, mm -hmm. they say it's a pneumonia. Mm -hmm. or pneumonia. Mm -hmm. Pneumonia. Mm -hmm. And and the doctor is uh, he 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 give them the treatment for pneumonia. Okay. Yes. yes. All right. Well, hopefully, Maria Melina, it's, I mean, the babies are going to get better. All right. And Thank nothing, you. yeah, nothing is going to happen. Right. Just take care of them. Right. And if, if anything, you need to contact the doctor. Right. Yes. So they, um, they... um, yes. Um, we have the telephone number and the, the doctor say call me for anything happening. That's right, yet. yes. Um, but we hope they get better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And one of, of the baby is is good now, but uh, the other one not right. Now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to we need to pray, Maria Melina. Okay. Yeah. Yes, teacher. So what we're doing now in family. That's yeah. right. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Well, tell me how everything goes tomorrow. Okay. Hopefully, the baby's gonna be better. Okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Very good, Maria Melina. So it was very nice to see you again. I'm happy to be with you again. <laughs> no, Scott. Yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and Carlos, I think so. Carlos, which uh, Carlos? Carlos Bernal. Was he in class today? Yes, uh, the 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 um, the guy he's working from Claro. In claro, yes, from Claro. No, I don't. I don't no. think he was my student. Maybe he was with me in the, uh, in the on the second okay, course. Yeah. Yes. yeah. All right. Yes, <laughs> all right. Very good. Yes. Well, yeah. all right, Maria, go rest, okay? And I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you for everything. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, have a good night. Bye-bye. Rest. Bye now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.